Welcome back. Abu Anas al-Libi, the alleged al-Qaeda operative accused of masterminding the 1998 U.S. Embassy bombings in Kenya and Tanzania, pleaded not guilty today in federal court in New York City, just one week after his dramatic capture in Libya. NBC's chief foreign correspondent Richard Engel is outside the courtroom in New York with the very latest. Uh, tell me about the hearing. We just left the courtroom. I was in the, uh, in the courtroom with a small number of journalists, and we watched as the man better known by his nom de guerre, Abu Anas Libby, was brought in. He was wearing gray sweatpants, a black sweatshirt. He was initially handcuffed. He was flanked by U.S. Marshals. Once they brought him uh, into the center of the courtroom and sat him down, his handcuffs were taken off. Uh, it was a fairly quick and uh, seemingly routine procedure. The, uh, the judge uh, speaking through a translator, Mr. Alibi does not speak English, uh, told him uh, if he understood why he was there, said, uh, read the charges against him. He was uh, charged with conspiracy to commit murder, conspiracy to destroy American public buildings, and the conspiracy to destroy national security infrastructure. Alibi said that he did. He also told the judge he did not have uh, the money to hire his own private counsel and that he would accept a court-appointed lawyer uh, and after just about 15 minutes uh, he was handcuffed again led out of the room wearing flip-flops and the judge set a new date for the next uh, hearing on uh, uh, October 22nd now Richard I know you're not a doctor nor do you play one on television but how did he look because uh, the issue of bringing him so quickly to the United States before interrogating him uh, at greater length was supposedly because he had a pre-existing condition the family said it was hepatitis he, he certainly looked older than his 49 years. He had a, a beard that was almost entirely gray at the bottom, uh, brown at the end. And as he stood up and sat down in his chair, stood, standing up when the uh, judge entered the room, he moved fairly slowly. Uh, actually, his translator and one of his temporary lawyers had to help him move the chair in as he tucked it in under his seat. He didn't seem very infirm. He wasn't limping. Uh, he didn't look uh, visibly sick. He just mo he, he looked uh, slow and, and weak. Uh, certainly older than uh, than the man he is. Well, and we all remember the 1998 bombings, which really was the signature act by Al Qaeda and Osama bin Laden before uh, the USS Cole, and then, of course. 9-11. So this is a very important trial, and it's an important trial of the system, of whether he can get a fair trial in lower Manhattan there in federal court. Richard, thank you very much. Thanks for being there for us today. Sure.